Thank you, Mark. And thank you, everyone, for coming. I was very pleased to be asked to chair this plenary session, and I'm delighted to be sharing the stage with my fine colleagues over here, who you'll hear from in just a moment. But before I introduce the speakers, I wanted to explain a little bit of what the format will be, and also outline the brief that I assigned to them. The title of the session, as Mark said, is The West as an Edge. And the session is centered on the conference theme of boundary and periphery. And it also takes as its secondary theme the idea of the West, which reflects our presence here in Washington, Washington State. You don't even need to say that when you're from the West. <laughs> and we'll uh, reflect the experiences of the panelists here. So in framing this session, I was interested to see how these panelists might reflect on their experiences doing terrestrial and maritime archaeology in the West. But I also wanted them to address their own positioning in the West, considering both of these ideas as edges, as boundaries, as peripheries, and potentially as margins. So the panelists were issued a set of interrelated questions. So the first question was, what is the West? Simple to answer. The second one was, how does your own work in the West relate to ideas of boundaries and peripheries? And the third one, which is a little bit more complicated, how is your own work bounded, marginalized, peripheral, or central to recent or current trends in historical archaeology. So that is to say, how do they see themselves working on the edges or not? Or do they see themselves working within the mainstream of historical archaeology? The panelists were then asked to address these questions in what you'll hear are very short papers, right? <laughs> Uh, and thank you all for complying with such structured instructions and time constraints. But before we move on to their comments, I, I wanted to ask the audience a set of questions because your participation in this plenary is just as important as our fine panelists here. So the first question I want to ask, and if you can just raise your hand, how many of, your, of you consider yourselves to be from the West? Great. How many of you live in the West? Interesting. Okay, great. How many of you have at some time in your life worked in the West? Great. And how many currently work in the West? Great. It's, a, it's an audience of experts. <laughs> But clearly, many of you here have touched the West or have been touched by the West in different ways. Maybe some of you are looking to be touched by the West this week. And I look forward to hearing from you after the presentations because as you can see, we have a couple of microphones set up in the room for you to ask questions of the panel once they complete their presentations. So all of the panelists here have engaged with these ideas in some depth. And I think that you'll probably hear ideas tonight that resonate with your own experiences. And perhaps some of you may disagree with the positions that our panelists might take. So after the presentations, as I mentioned, we will open the floor up to further discussion between sort of us up here and you there. So that's enough from me. I'm going to turn the podium over to our first panelist, 